a very simple question for you. What comes to your mind when you hear the word horror? Is it something like amnesia, the dark descent? That feeling of hopelessness in the face of terrible, all-powerful monsters? Is it something like PT? Surely the feeling of eyes staring you down from every dark corner must set you on edge, no? Or maybe, yes maybe, just maybe, you think of something like this. <laughs> oh man, that was too easy. Horror is a genre as old as art itself. Every form of media from the written and spoken word to music, movies, and most assuredly video games has been twisted and warped by the sick minds of creators like you and me who live to make people wet themselves. That, 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 I mean, I, I mean piss. I'm not talking about a garden hose or something. As much as I'd like to talk in depth about the stable games that we all know and love that have cemented horror as a permanent genre in the field of game development, I am going to do the exact opposite. Instead, I'm going to talk about the potentially worst case maker for the importance of horror in video games. G Mod Horror Community Maps. Dear God, am I going to regret this? For those of you who haven't been absorbed by the entity that is Valve Games, we need to talk about what G Mod is and how it came to be. Gary's Mod is the brainchild of Gary Newman, the head developer and founder of Face Punch Studios. G Mod was started as a side project during the production of Face Studios' first game, Face Wound, and was initially released in December of 2004. As the name implies, it was a mod based around the Source Engine and therefore Half Life 2's assets that was characterized by a completely freeform gameplay style that allowed players to do basically whatever they wanted. While the project started out as a one-man side venture, its production eventually overtook Face Wound, became massively popular following its first initial release, and would then go on to grow into a team-developed project that caught the attention of Valve themselves. Valve reached out to Newman and offered him the option of a standalone release of Gary's Mod on what was then the very new Steam platform, but Newman initially shot down the idea. Eventually though, Face Punch and Valve would come to the agreement that Gary's Mod be released on Steam for $9.99 with an equal 50-50 split over profits. Following this decision, the last free update for Gary's Mod was listed as the demo for the standalone release, and the final product was released on Steam in November of 2006. Following the same trends from when the game was still in its mod version infancy, Gary's Mod was massively successful and, by December 2020, had made nearly $120 million in gross revenue and sold upwards of 18.5 million copies. Holy shit! So you're probably noticing that the description I just gave you has nothing to do with the horror game genre specifically, so how exactly am I focusing on that in what is basically just a freeform sandbox title? Well, to put it simply, the Steam works Shop. You see, Gary's Mod, like every other modern Valve title, was built using the Source engine developed by Valve themselves. This engine is open source, which means that the code that it's based on is publicly available and using developer tools that Valve has made available to players can be utilized to design both standalone games and mods for pre-existing ones. Since the engine is so easy to work with, mods for games like Half-Life 2 and Counter-Strike Source very quickly became massively abundant, and the same would stand true for Gary's Mod. As an open source sandbox title with its entire premise relying on the idea of, like, do whatever you want, man. Player sought to add as much content, custom, or imported from other games as was possible. This meant that weapons, NPCs, player models, game modes, and levels among other things were all jam-packed into the game and onto server after server to add to what was already a chaotic mess of fun. Seeing that Source Engine titles were significantly poked over by creators, Gary's Mod was very quickly added to Steam's Workshop system following its invention and admission to the Steam client. Essentially, the Workshop functions like any other mod hosting website, like GameBanana or ModDB, where users can publish finished versions of their mods for others to download and play with. The key difference is that Steam handles the installation of these mods through the Steam client and curates them to ensure no funny business is being done. This methodology simplifies and streamlines the process of creating, installing, uninstalling, and playing around with mods, removing the fear of heavy conflicts that would, in some cases, render a game completely unplayable. The success of the Steam Workshop platform is well known, as the library of titles it now includes has grown substantially over the years. For Gary's Mod alone, there are over 1.5 million add-ons, as they're referred to, available right now. So no matter what you seek, you'll most likely be able to find it on the Steam Workshop, barring anything containing quote-unquote adult content. So players have, can, and will make the most of the blank slate that is Gmod, creating countless examples of varied content to suit their purposes. This is where the horror genre gets inserted. Since players in essence decide what content the game includes, it was merely a matter of time before creators began to play around with the limits of the Source Engine in an effort to produce horror and horror-related game modes, missions, or stories that use Gmod as their base. This, oddly enough, is a super common map type in the realm of Gary's Mod add-ons. You know, maybe not in a good way necessarily, but hey, it's still a big deal. There's a good chance 
explains that you already know about the general idea of Gmon horror maps thanks to large scale creators like Vanos or I Am Wildcat who popularized them with their funny moments montage videos. What these videos show above all else is a stunning lack of quality that plagues the subgenre of mod development and creates comedy more often than horror. You no! fucking kidding me? That's the end. That was the end. That's the end of my fucking video. Is me oh falling in a God. hole after you and just seeing Olmrecker 98%. It's a fitting end to how shitty this map was. Generally speaking, horror is a tricky genre to nail because it requires a minimum level of skill in writing, design, and development that is generally significantly higher than other types of story mods or even mods in general. This high skill floor means that despite having all the tools in place to make something scary, the creator lacks the ability to put the pieces together properly. Additionally, having to work within the confines of what is a relatively simple, aging, and visually unimpressive engine places inherent limitations on how effective of a visual spectacle you can create from just the Valve assets alone. Now, that's not to say that creators haven't found ways to make some truly remarkable products for us to dive into, which is where we're headed next. What I want to do with the rest of this video is show off a small collection of community-made horror maps for Gmod and share that experience with you guys. I have a list of these maps available in the description so you can find, download, and play them with ease if you want. I chose these maps by searching the word horror in the workshop, selecting the map, content type, and then sorting by the most popular of all time. Whichever one stood out to me the most were the ones that I ended up picking. I've never played any of these maps and haven't even opened any of them actually, so my first experience will be what you see. Hopefully that keeps the spooky vibes intact. Let's get started then, shall we? Going to start off with this map uh, here. Haunted Mind. I chose this one because uh, the picture looked cool. That was really my only criteria. <laughs> it was also very highly rated, so I figured I would start with this one. Oh, sweet Jesus. F uh, no thanks. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Um, it's very loud. I'm gonna just turn that down a little bit. Because somebody tells me I'm, uh, I'm not gonna need, need it to be that loud. So, I have this set to not spawn me with any, mo uh, any guns or anything. Uh, I have, I, I, I... Uh, why did that scare me? But uh, yeah, I have no... I did not pick that up. I, uh, I have no weapon... The fuck was that? Oh, that's fun. <laughs> okay, that wasn't that scary. That was just stalkers from Half-Life 2. So far, I found ammo, but no gun. Am I supposed to have guns? Okay, uh, even if I'm not supposed to have a gun, I'm gonna give myself a Golden Desert Eagle. I feel a lot more comfortable now, that's for sure. Boom! <laughs> uh, <laughs> should have seen that one coming. <laughs> it's good to know my reaction time is good. If I ever... If I'm ever in a post-apocalyptic wasteland and need to fire a gun at something very quickly. <laughs> Oh man, oh man, why did I make this video? Uh, can I get the camera? There we go, okay. Uh, the second door doesn't even open up. Okay. Is that crying I just heard? Oh my god, what is it with this map in jump scares? I took a picture there. So what we're probably gonna notice is that a lot of these maps are gonna rely on jump scares as much as they do basically anything else to scare us. Stay down. I see you. I see you moving. You have an itch you need to scratch, bud? I, I, can, I can help you. Oh. Oh, oh, oh god, oh god, oh god. I just took a bunch of pictures. I'm out of here. Screw that. Screw that room. Okay. I guess I am supposed to have a weapon. Okay. Am I regretting my choice to make this video? Minorly. Why was there a scream there? That didn't even, that wasn't even like scary. It was just weird. <laughs> I'm gonna ignore the zombies in that room. Okay, I can't go that way. I gotta go this way. This game audio is still super loud, Jesus. So what you're gonna notice is that a lot of these horror maps rely on jump scare elements and some cool, some cool little set piece things, as well as just fighting enemies. Kind of like um, how you wouldn't have Half-Life, uh, I, I know this trope. 
Yeah, I knew that one was coming. That one didn't get me that badly. Okay, that was that was actually creepy though. <laughs> what room is this? Oh Jesus! Ooh, wow. Okay, that's a, that's a good use of enemies to like scare you. I wasn't expecting there to be. Excuse you. <laughs> he looks very, very pleased with himself. <laughs> All right. Oh, hi there. Okay, this is going to be rough. You can stay over there, my guy. At the very least, you're giving me a lot of a lot of health items. Kind of counteract. I was expecting this guy to get up. I'm not gonna lie. Subverted my expectations. Nice going. <laughs> I don't know if that was supposed to like scare me, but. Uh, Definitely won that fight. Uh, I'm gonna go this way first. Jump scare though, calling it. Really? Nothing? Really? Nothing? Vents are a great place for a jump scare. I've played Fear, come on. You see, now you're speaking my language. Okay, so... Interesting wall texture there. Bricked up door, I guess. <laughs> That's gonna crawl away from me, isn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the predictability is the big. What is that noise? Uh, what? What was that? What was that? Hello? Excuse you? We just gotta pretend that that didn't happen. I guess we are. All right. That was a good flick shot right there. All right. <laughs> I also have 107 rounds for this damn thing. I think I should probably use this first. <laughs> that was immensely cheap. Okay. Oh, this is promising. That's, see? Okay, that's cool. That's not quite a... <laughs> I was about to harp on the fact that that was kind of a cool thing. Break the mirror. Don't make this do anything, but make the mirror do something. And then that. Just. Uh, okay. I guess I have that. That's bait. Oh, well, the chair broke, but that was about it. What's in here? Hello? Oh, wait. This is where I was before. Kill one of those damn things. It just keeps fighting after you finish them off. That's really dumb. Okay, so I've cleared this space out. I'm gonna clear this room out while I have the shotgun. There we go. Right. So I've tied myself back to my original destination. Still haven't found the supposed key for this room. I guess I gotta go through here. So am I gonna figure out what was banging on that one vent or not? Because <laughs> I feel like I need to be able to figure out what was on that one vent. All right, cool. So that door at the front was open. I don't like the fact that I've got to go over this again. <laughs> okay, I guess, I guess there is nothing else here. You see, the thing that I, I never, I, I, I can't anticipate with maps like this is that this is like, product, this is well produced. Somebody scripted this very well. Even if what they scripted is kind of cliche, I, I, I am noticing definitely that effort was put in, which means Anything is possible. Did I close this door? What? Why is there music playing? Bro, you gave me a shotgun. I don't need to worry about escaping. I got this just fine. You know what? I don't need your music. I'm going to make my own montage out of this. Let's do this. All right, that's probably enough I can make a montage out of if I felt like doing that. Do you mind? 
Okay, these these zombies are not worth fighting. I don't need to to worry about these ones. I can just go around these guys. Oh, look at that. That was not what I was expecting. Okay. We are officially in new territory. I'm not gonna lie, this map has been doing very, very well to like, uh, to like, subvert my expectations more than anything else. It's actually quite imp impressive. This is feeling very Resident Evil now all of a sudden. I wonder what uh, could possibly be at the end here. Is it a jump scare? Yeah, yeah, I see. I called that one. That, that. <laughs> I was like, gee, I wonder if it's possible that there's a jump scare at the end of this long hallway. <laughs> Certain things you can just kind of call, you know, like enemies around doors, uh, jump scares at long hallways. It's, it's, uh, if, if nothing else, a predictable map, more actiony. I'm gonna break the rules for a second and figure out what model that is at the end of the hallway there. <laughs> oh, that is, that is not, no, no bueno, my guy. <laughs> oh man, that is really funny. Gee, I wonder if it's gonna jump scare me. Let's find out. Wait, what, wait, what, wait, what, wait, what? <laughs> so quickly what <laughs> uh, okay I guess uh, I guess that was haunted mine part one anyway uh, that was actually really good I, I enjoyed that some of those scares were super like cheap and in your face jump scares but they were good ones because the second that I was like oh I know that this is gonna be a jump scare that's whatever but then there were some that I was like yeah that was completely out of left field uh, I think the thing that's worthy of note though is that Jump scares have to be earned. You can't just have a jump scare. That that's not, that doesn't make something scary. You have to uh, kind of manufacture the aura around a jump scare. In a game like Resident Evil Seven, for example, when the the dude bursts through the wall, you you expect him to be following you. There's this expectation that he's going to try to get you. He's going to be there. He's going to try something. So that jump scare is earned because he just suddenly comes through the wall, but you're like, oh yeah, of course he's going to do that. He's trying to kill me. And he's like a superhuman monster. Of course he has the ability to burst through a cheap plaster wall. Um, in something like this, that wasn't the case, but I still I still rather enjoyed that. I, I, I appreciated the adrenaline I got out of that. That was fun. The next map here is actually Horror PT Hotel. I saw, I picked this one out of the lineup because I saw PT and I was like, oh, somebody remade PT in Gmod. I want to see how effective that is. Because in general, I think recreations like that are like valid. They just don't typically go the way you want them to. So I want to see if this, this creator managed to make something uh, as freaky with like sound and things as uh, PT was. Well, this feels like a familiar start. Kind of similar. Is that a fucking doorbell in a hotel? Okay, Jesus fucking Christ, I'll answer the door. Hello? Okay, so this is, that's the front door. I'm gonna check these rooms out. Wait, what? There's, oh, it must, this must be like the bathroom stand-in, I guess. This is not analogous directly to PT. This is like its own th Oh, locked door. Okay. Gonna have to remember that. Alright, what do you want? Hello? <laughs> and so it begins. I wonder when the rest of the map, like, behind me is gonna, uh, no longer be rendered. Ah, so there's, like, slight changes happening. Ah, this is the... That was a very odd musical cue to use at that time, but all right. Oh. The door's locked. Is there like a vent I can somehow get out of? Oh, that is weird. This is going in a very different direction than PT did, but I see what they're getting at, all right. These are the sturdiest dilapidated boards I've ever seen in my entire life. Well, I'm sure that bodes well. 
Wait, what? It's it's locked. I can't go that way, so what way am I supposed to go? Whoa, this is weird. Okay, so is this like a puzzle? Do I have to break these boxes and find a... Ah, is it that? Okay. Jump scare vent? I'm calling it. I'm calling jump scare vent. Oh, that's creepy. I like the red light. Jump scare vent? Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> It got me because it wasn't a Gmod model. <laughs> it got me because it was that screamer PNG face. That is so... God. I knew it was coming and it still got me. <laughs> that is a better example of an earned jump scare. That's for sure. I guess, um... That won't happen. I'll go this way. Good use of a musical cue. Things have the tone has definitely changed. This is this is good. Oh, this is different. That's a key. I got the key. Um <laughs> Yo my guy, can I get a close up on that? What the fuck was that? <laughs> I know it's supposed to be scary, but like, that's what I was saying earlier. The limitations of what is natively in Half-Life 2's assets means you can't, you can't do things like that. It's cool that this room changed though. Like drastically, that's actually a really cool thing. Did that just light up behind me? Oh, I don't like that. The fuck was that? Oh god, this is... This is actually scary. <laughs> Don't want to fall down there. Okay. Oh, the grate's gone. Yay. This is... This is actually scary. This is this is good. The boxes? Are they going to break open on me? There's something behind all these boxes? or something in one of these boxes? Just a room full of boxes. This isn't... This isn't scary. It's just annoying. Welcome to Box Breaking Simulator, the game. Okay. So that was the thing. Oh, we're there. I'm gonna come back to that one. Thank you. Oh, hey, this lamp is on. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, that's actually super dope. Okay. As cheap as that PNG is, I, uh, I still hated that. <laughs> oh, that's from that one creepypasta. Oh, God. Oh, God, and now it's gonna jump scare me, isn't it? Oh, it moves. And it's playing music. I'm out of there. Do I want to do this one? Can I just move on? I need three keys. Sweet Jesus. So that means that there was one in here. Yeah, I missed it. Unless it's setting up. <laughs> It set up a jump scare. We're fine. We're fine. It's fine. It set up a jump scare. That was that was a setup. That was. It could have been worse. I don't want to go in there, man. I really don't want to go in there. I really don't. I don't want to go anywhere near this. This is like actually a no, a no moment. Okay. Sprinting, leaning away from my monitor. Oh my god! It's totally gonna get me on the re on the rebound, isn't it? It's totally gonna get me on the. Re Wait, that's way closer. Wait, what the fuck? Wait. Wait a minute. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, that is... That is really funny, actually. Oh my god. Okay, that is really cool. Still bracing for a jump scare. These doors are all fake. They just keep tri tripping me up. Is this, is this door fake? Yeah, okay, it must be. Ah, this is back to its regular length. Here's the jump scare. Oh, what noise was that? Was that a noise from Cry of Fear? I think it was a noise from Cry of Fear. See, they set that up well. They, 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 that, that one, I, I was like, okay, I know when this is coming. It's a little stereotypical, but at the very least, they, like, did some stuff. 
They used the same picture, though, which is problematic and a little annoying, but other than that. <laughs> okay, so now we're in Resident Evil 7, apparently. Sorry, that just tickled me. Because this isn't this isn't uh, the regular model, I don't think. It might be. But it just the way it fell, I, it's, it's just very funny. I like how he's using the light, too. I'm noticing that there's like instances where like light is just coming in through. <laughs> you can't do the same thing twice in a row and just add a music stinger to the second one and make it work. It doesn't work like that. That is actually hilarious. I'm also noticing there's a the hole in this model I never knew before. It's funny. This is a cool set piece, though. Look at that. Oh, it's a car. I just need a key. That's my way out. I can get the fuck away from this place. This is bad. Those were footsteps. That was very good. <laughs> oh, this is the P. This is just the part that looks like PT. That was a door. A door just opened. And that door's locked now. Okay, I heard a door open. I'm scared. I'm more than a little scared. That's paint. I'm gonna take this with me. Paint! I have my paint. I have a paint can. You can't hurt me. I've got a motherfucking paint can, motherfucker. Come at me, bitch. This is a false sense of security if I've ever seen one. Yeah, things are all the way. These are back to the way that they were at the very beginning, but. This is gonna go horribly wrong, isn't it? That is completely different. <laughs> hey, paint can, I'm gonna put you right there. Don't go anywhere. I've got a choice of an SMG or a shotgun. <laughs> You've been on the internet as long as me. You know that face. Oh, it's all over the, okay, now it's actually scary. Oh, it's in here too. Is this open? No, it's not. Paint can, let's go. Okay, paint can, let's go. <laughs> I think I spawned something in right there. Oh my god, my body tensed up so hard just then. I hope I didn't break my recording. <laughs> oh, get the fuck out of here, bro. Dude, just leave. Hold on, does he, does he come back if I- Oh man, that's kind of funny. All right, Paint Can, you, you took point. You're taking point again. No, don't come back. Paint Can is the worst companion. Oh, it's fucking bad. Is there gonna be a baby in this bathroom? Hello? Oh, the door closed behind me. All right, Paint Can, let's... Oh. This is, uh... Not very epic for what it was trying to be. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I, I, I'm a little disappointed. Like, for as much as I can appreciate, uh, you know, just fun action gameplay every once in a while. It's the loudest gun on the face of the planet. Okay, so what I was saying earlier, um, I'm actually a little disappointed. Also, that music is copyrighted, I'm pretty sure. They had a thing go in there that was like really good. Like that was actually like really, really good. The, the, the careful use of audio effects, you know, the changing environments that are like spontaneously moving around you kind of thing, that's fun. It worked well. The picture jump scares were not always super well set up. Some of them were kind of predictable. Uh, that last one wasn't though. But then, you know, at the end, just to end it with, to end it with a combat, like a really, really short subpar combat segment was really weird. I don't know, I'm not like bothered, bothered by it, but I don't know, I feel like a different direction could have been taken there. I feel, I feel a little cheated, if anything. So just a little cheated, that's about it. Let's do. Do stage two. Stage two looks interesting. So this one has a bit of a story here. 
Wow, well, this is production value. Okay, this actually looks kind of nice. You woke up in an unknown place, reminiscent of some kind of hospital. A simple way out was nowhere to be found. You have no choice. You have to go lower and lower, hoping to find a way out. Your objective? Get out of here. Have a nice game. <laughs> like, I got to sleep. Have a nice game. Well, that doesn't bode well. Oh, we get to get a jump scare right off the bat. Oh. We're going to get production value right off the bat. Oh. Oh, there was nothing. <laughs> I don't think there's a way to cue a sound to when a door hits the floor, but I wish there was a sound there. Whoa. Hold on, what have I just gotten myself into? Oh, okay, this is creepy. This is gonna be fun. I don't like that vent. Oh. Okay, well, I just wanted to take a look outside. Sorry if I bothered you. It's something I've noticed with this, this, uh, just random. What the fuck was that? Okay, I, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually scared. <laughs> Just a note, I'm not playing these, like, at night in the dark. It's 2.40 in the afternoon. <laughs> I'm still fucking horrified. What the fuck is that? It's bones? What the fuck? That's creepy. I'm, not, I'm taking this pan. I need a weapon. I played PUBG. I know that this is a powerful tool. Oh, God. I need a key. All right, well, Mr. Pan, you're following me today. The la last map, it was paint can. Now it's pan. <gasps> is that... Pink can! Oh my god, you're here too! Holy shit! I didn't think I was gonna get to see Pink can again. I'm glad you made it across maps, man. This... This feels like a setup. Okay, so the thing... The thing is... Carrying a paint can around means I'm making more noise. And I'm scaring myself. Because I'll hit something... Thinking that I triggered some kind of dumb special event. Yeah, I'm... I'm... I'm considerably freaked out. So I, need, I need a key for this one too. Where am I gonna get a fucking key? Where am I gonna find a key? Where, where is there a key? All right, Pink Ann, let's go back, I guess. So there's got to be a key somewhere in this space. Is there one on this guy somewhere, maybe? No? Okay, maybe there's one in here I missed? In the bucket? No. Is there a key in this pot? No. Here, Pink Ann, you, here, I'm gonna get you off the floor. You don't deserve to be on the floor. No, fuck you, bucket. Oh. It's a set of pliers. Oh, I can open these drawers. Hold on. Full of mugs. A key! Oh, they glow. Okay, that's cool. So there's a glow on the keys. So even when it's dark, I can see them. Oh, this sucks. I need to take paint can with me. Okay, here. I'm gonna toss that paint can. You come with me. So, which one should I open up? Does it go? Does, does this key have a certain destination, or can this key open any 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 door? Okay, the keys have certain destinations. So this one goes to the other door. All right, paint can. Let's go. Wait, the door's gone. I just noticed the door's gone. <laughs> oh my god. When did that happen? <laughs> Pink can you hold the whole position by the door. Prepare to breach. Every time I hear that musical cue, I genuinely think something happened behind me. Even though I know it's not caused by anything in particular. That TV is gonna turn on, isn't it? Hmm. Ah, it's a giant key. Well, this is a little ludicrous for a lock the size that I'm going to open. I'm noticing the ambiance here is very strong. But, uh, I'm also noticing, uh, a lack of anything happening. Alright. Pink can, let's move. What do we got? What's it? Ah, power. Cool. We got lights. So we've got lights. Has anything changed? I wonder if anything's changed. I don't know. Everything seems the same. Glass breaking I heard over here. Pink can. That blood wasn't always there, was it? Okay, I... <laughs> this is really smart. Oh, okay, that was... Okay, that was actually effective. I'm gonna leave now. Thanks. 
What? What? Did I miss something? I missed something. Oh, I missed a jump scare. Oops. All right. <laughs> well then, that was uh, freaky. All players needed an elevator to work. Well, just me and paint can, so I guess we're good. Stage zero. Wait, I was just at stage two. Okay, there's a three in that wall. Oh, there's like a switch thing here. Okay, this is like gonna this is gonna be a long map. I can tell right now. Here, can you figure this out, paint can? I'm wondering. Can you can you get this open? I failed. Oh, that's fine, paint can. We're not all perfect. Oh, the cafeteria's open. Hello. Oh, is that a pipe? Oh, it's not a weapon. It's just a pipe. That's dumb. There is nothing in here. This is just a bonus space. Okay. Something will probably happen in here later. <sighs> I'm scared. I don't, I don't want to be doing this anymore, man. I, 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 I set out. No, no, I'm not doing that. Fuck that. I'm going a different way first. Okay. I got to face this sooner or later. Oh, I thought this mirror was going to do something. <laughs> okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh, that is going to do something. That is an actual active mirror. Hold up. Was that me or somebody else? Did I do that? I don't remember. I, I might have hit it with paint can. Uh, no, no, paint can, paint can, paint can, paint can, paint can. Stop. Don't, don't you run away from me, you little asshole. There's another broom closet. Oh, wait, no, this is like a generator room. Okay, thank God. So I have to figure out what I have to do in here. Oh, 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 it's a handle. I can do stuff with something with this. Maybe if I take this over to the other, the other spot. Okay, paint can. I'm going to set you up over here. You take a rest. I'm going to go see what I can do about this. Ah, cool. Okay, so I got something to open just then. Oh, this door opened up. Okay, cool. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to look around. This is a way, this is, wait, this is way out of here, but I don't have a key. Okay, so I need to get the key for the stairs. That's the goal. Okay, this is a whole new area. I'm going to double back. I'm going to go over to this side that just opened up with paint can. And then I'm going to go that way. Let me say, the fact that this map is taking its time is actually making it quite effective. I... I think this might be a good portion of the video. Okay, so there's a key card. It says K next to it. I don't know if that means anything. No smoking. In case you needed a reminder to not go smoke, to not smoke in the middle of a fucking uh, hospital. So this is a laundry room. Oh, hey, there's a vent. Oh, God, fucking vents. Okay. Paint can time for a new venture. This, this is something that I actually, I, I think I am supposed to have a crowbar bar for this mission. It just so happens that I, I don't. Okay, paint can, I'm gonna have to, get paint can, you're gonna stay down here. Am I supposed to be able to break this? I think I am. I think, I think I've made a mistake. Oh. I just had to press E. I'm just dumb, as it would happen. I'm just very, very dumb. I guess I'm not going back up that way. Oh, cool, I'm back on this side. Okay, cool. So this loops around. So what's the point of opening up this opening up this door? I don't understand. Like, I'm back out at the start. Oh, the elevator's going. <laughs> well then. I'm scared. <laughs> Guess we gotta go over here now and check out this new space. I I'm uh, I'm just gonna go this uh there's blood on the wall. I'm making a bad choice. Or is this a prison? Paint can? Stop him. Thank you. I'm gonna do it. I got it. I got a balls up. Oh, it's the back rooms. <laughs> well, paint can. Time to explore the back rooms for a bit. Oh. That's a no. No, stop. Stop that right now. What is going on? What is going on? I'm so scared. Stop. <laughs> oh. uh. That was PT. That was a, a, a screenshot of Lisa from PT. I panicked. I followed the sound of 
the laughter, and that's what I get. Let's take a slug of this Tito's real quick. Okay, can I leave now? Is there something in here I've got to do, or can I leave? I can just leave. Okay. Oh, this is actually probably a reference to PT, because there's a baby on the. I wonder if this is a reference. There's a baby on the table. Well then, that was a pretty good one. This map's set pieces are excellent. I'm noticing that it's it's doing a very good job setting up what it needs to in order to, you know, make things work. You know what? Paint can, here's what we're gonna do. I need you to secure the escape. You're gonna stay here by this radio, take a slug of your Tito's. I have to go this alone, or else I'm gonna rely on that dead joke. So there's a library here. I need another key card, though. I'm noticing that I need key cards for a lot of this stuff, but I haven't found one yet, which makes me... Why? Well, there's blood here. Oh, god damn it. These are all locked. Watch these all open up. No. No, there's just nothing here. Okay. I don't know what it's gonna scare me. That's what's making this so fucking scary. <laughs> like, I, I could look around at all these directions, go into every room, check every corner. There's no consistency to when it's gonna scare me. It'll scare me when it wants to scare me. That's how it should be done. This is a good map. Oh, there's a dead guy. That's fun. Well, um, I mean, I guess I gotta go that way. <laughs> Sweet. Mary Jesus. Oh, fuck me. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, game. You called my bluff. You're right, I didn't go in the vent. I should have gone in the vent. This is a jump scare. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this, maybe it's not, but I, th I still think it is. This is a jump scare. How am I wrong? <laughs> Why are you booing me? I'm right. Okay. Oh, hey, I'm back in the... Wait, this isn't the same... Oh, I must be in, like, a different cell block. And each cell block has its own... Uh, its own kitchen or whatever. Alright, so we got three and eight so far. That's good numbers. Was I supposed to have found this beforehand? I think I might have been able to find this beforehand. I think I did find this beforehand, actually. And I think about it. Yeah, I was here. So if I go back this way, I can go to the library. So is this a one-time use? It's not. I can use this key card as many times as I want. That's great. Oh, thank fuck, there's a light on in here. <laughs> I don't need to feel like I'm going to die every 10 seconds. Yay. There's a map. Oh, okay. Wait, what? That's crazy. Okay, so... How do I get out of this? So three is the last number. And I was just in the cafeteria, which is C. Okay, I need a pen. I, I need a, hold on. <laughs> I wasn't anticipating you to do puzzle solving. I've seen... D and C. So I've got something, 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 A, B, C, D. And then C is eight. And D is three, from what I saw before. Oh, this is the, I need the passcode to get into there, okay. Uh, I could probably brute force this, right? Somebody had to set this, right? So like, it's probably a relatively human answer. I could, I guess I could systematically do every combo, but that'd be cheating. I wanna play the map, let's play the map, okay. So there was another door in the cell block across that had a key card thing on it. If I go back, I can open that up. The door back here. Yes, this is the medical cabinet, as it says. There's a number in here that is A. That would be five, right? Yeah, five. So A is five. So it's five something eight three. Now I could just remove it. Oh, a corpse fell out of the thing. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> You okay there, bud? There's another, there's another number, but I'm trying to remember how to get to the room on the map where it says it is. I, I, for some reason, the, the layout of this map is messing with my head. I'm like, wait, hold on, how, there's no room. Paint can. You and I are gonna resume our adventures. Hi, my name is Dredd. Welcome to mug the hospital patient with a paint can. Okay, I gotta go back to that one room. I have to go back to the library and figure out, uh... Oh, I know where it is. Take me a second to remember. Uh, there's a cell block that opened up. Like an auxiliary cell block that opened up in one of these directions. I just gotta go remember where it was. 
Oh, that was the guy from this spot. That's funny. I'm curious then. Was I supposed to find another number? Because there's four, and I mean, I, I could just, I could just, you know, I'm probably gonna have to at this point, just, you know, force it. It seems to me like I should have already seen it. Let's take one more look at this. So I'm where it says need password. And the key to security is in that room. If I go back out and then take a right, go left into that junction, the fourth number should be there. Oh, don't, I don't wanna activate the map again. Come on, get off, get off of this, get off of this. How do I, how do I, how do I, how do I get out of this? Oh shit, I wanna just lock myself here. <laughs> God damn it. Um, oh shit, I might have just fucked myself. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I have an idea. This is, this is dumb, but I have an idea, hold on. <laughs> Tool gun, camera. I can't shoot it when I'm in this menu, shit. I don't, oh God, I fucked myself. Damn it. Okay, here, hold on. Uh, so I had to reset the map. <laughs> but um, in doing so, I also got rid of the pop-up on my screen. So, I'm now locked in this room, so I'm going to brute force my way through this lock. Are you serious? What? <laughs> oh shit, I might have just fucked myself because I can't no clip out of here. <laughs> god damn it. Oh god damn it, no, I don't wanna, uh, I wonder if the mod developer put in a protection so that you can't brute force it. Even if you know, if you know the code, you can't just brute force it. Uh, this is all possible permutations at this point, and uh, it's no longer working. I've got to replay the map. <laughs> okay, so I think, I've, I think I've gotten this back to where basically I'm at. I had to redo everything real quick, but the gist of it is that this room right there is the room where I get that weird laughing jump scare. That's a one. So I think one, eight, three. Okay, maybe I need to go open up room number A. I haven't got number A. I haven't been to room A thinking that I've just got to go turn it back on and or go back in there and then do it again. Oh, I want to see the corpse fall this time. There it is. <laughs> That's funny. That's just funny. Uh, fuck you. Hi. Hi, old man. How you doing? You doing okay? You feeling all right? <laughs> so now I've now I've actually done all the rooms, I should be able to do this now. So it has to be 5183. One, eight, three. It's not working. Why isn't that working? I don't understand. Am I missing something? Right? Or was it, it is it inverted? Is it 3815? This is in reverse order because, no, okay, that's not right. Maybe there's some trick to this? Admittedly, I'm I'm more than a little confused because I should have all of these. Um I'm going to I'm going to do something real quick. Full disclosure, I'm currently looking up the looking up the answer to this. Someone else said 8531. Let's try that. Okay, so the code's wrong. This is Yeah, this this map is in is incorrect. We're basically set though. Now that we figured that shit out. Ooh, that was pretty cool actually. It broke shit. That was actually kind of dope. Time to get the fuck out of here. Or at the very least, go open up the security office and get a gun. I'm hoping for the reprieve of an action shooter at this point. <laughs> God, this map is fucking... Oh God. 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 There is actually... There's actually a fucking monster out here. Holy shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy fuck, it's creepy. Why is it, why is it a shadow? Can I pick up this gun? Okay, thank God. Okay, I've got a gun. And I've got a key. This is, must be the one to the stairs. Ow, fuck. Okay, so it was just a regular fast zombie painted black, okay. Oh, thank God. Wait, what? Oh, shit. Okay. Open up, open up, open up. We're on our way down. Whew. Damn. Wow, that actually goes down really far. <laughs> like way more depth to this map than I thought there was. Stage negative two. Hold on, I'm going down in twos. Oh god, there's more map? Oh god. So that panel's gonna open this door. 
That's actually a super cool light effect. <laughs> I actually really like that. What's over here in security? Wow, this place is huge. Am I in a prison or a hospital? I thought I was in a hospital. Oh, yikes. That guy's dead. Jesus. Wow. Okay. Oh. Okay, so I still need a key for that door. <laughs> Shot the lock. Still need a key. <laughs> I hope I didn't just break the map again. That was the door of it. What? Where? 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 I took a hit. What happened? Oh, he blew the door off the hinges. Okay. Man, that is, this is, it's got a lot less scary once they gave me a gun. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I wish I could sprint. The fact that I can't sprint is playing into the horror element of it ever so slightly, but also I can't help but think it'd be better if I could just run. There's another gun and a flashlight. Is that a key? No, it's a key. I was kind of betting on something bursting through the door and attacking me, but I guess not. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> God, God damn it. <sighs> Alright, cool. It didn't break the map. It just broke the model. Oh, I just fell off the thing at me. I don't like that. I don't like it when spooky things happen in my spooky game. Some boots. Yo, look at these Tims. Oh, bro, she cut my man shit up. <laughs> Not the yadas. <laughs> I use humor to combat my fear. I don't like this. This is... This is, this is, I don't like this. This is bad vibe city. You know, I just, why can't I go in here? Hold on. Jump scare vent. Jump scare vent. I'm calling it. The last one wasn't, this one must be. Oh. No, I think I might have just accidentally missed something actually. Oh no. I have to light the place up with a torch? Are you shitting me? My effects package is making this difficult. Wow. Well, this might be a ride. Okay, so this is um, a little unfortunate. I should have known to turn off my effects package because it is making this ever so slightly harder to do. What I can do is throw it. I heard something. What was that? What was that? I don't like this. I don't like it. It's so dark. Oh, it's a maze and shit is falling over. I don't like this. Uh, get me the fuck out of here. Get me the fuck out of here. Uh, yuck. I hate that. Okay. What? Where? Behind me? Oh god, I can't fucking see him. Okay. Yeah, I shot the head crab too, so I think we're good. Yeah, the door closed behind me. That's... Oh. The door just closed behind me. The door locked behind me. Well, now what do I do? Can't throw me a freaking bone here? Oh. Oh, wait, is this different? Wait, what the fuck? I'm so confused and scared. I just want this to be done with. This can't be different, right? Oh, that, that guy's definitely getting back up. God, this is so fucking crazy. Oh, hi. I got him. This is, this is a long map. <laughs> my God. Like, my guy, this shit is crazy. Like, I can, I can see this. But what I don't see is a way to open it. Oh, it was a vent. Oh shit, I might have just lost my only light source. Oh god. Oh god, I just lost my only light source. I have to keep cheating to get my shit back. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do this actually, because I can't use a weapon when I'm doing this, but I can actually see at the very least. So all I've got to do is like bring boxes over there, I guess. Gotta orient that for the sake of time, because this is already taking a lot longer than I thought I was going to. Okay, this is definitely jump scare vent material. Don't go out on me yet, Lamp. We're we're just at the, we're at the very beginning of this, man. This is not over yet. Well, I guess not. There's blood all over this one. I'm gonna do a fizz gun with this light, because I can't see shit. Hi, guy. <laughs> Whoops, my bad dude, my bad dude. Sorry about that, sorry about that. <laughs> Stairs. What was that? Okay. There's light up here. I don't know if it continues down here. Yeah, there's still no light, I gotta use this. 
Stage negative four. Okay, there's nothing there. All right, this is starting to get intense. Uh, what what the fuck's going on? What is what is down here that is causing all that ruckus? I feel like I'm playing Visage now. <laughs> Stop! Stop that! No! 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 Oh, thank! Oh God, was that supposed to be beneficial to me? I know it gave me the Magnum, but I'm I'm investing in in something else. <laughs> I, I I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna get this one. <laughs> Runs on the- What? Holy shit, there is something behind me. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. What the fuck is that? What is behind me? What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh my god, oh my- Oh, holy shit. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Holy shit. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? What is happening? Oh, I'm in SCP-93's pocket dimension. I don't like this one bit. What happened? I'm so confused. I don't like that. Why do I move so slowly? No. Sir? No. Sir? Sir? Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out. What happened? Why, why is my screen black? What happened? Where am I? Where am I? What the fuck is going on here? I'm so confused. Did I, did I make it, but like not make it? Hello? Oh my God. Uh, I guess I'm going down again. Okay, well this is um definitely not the direction I thought this was gonna go. That's for sure. Props to the mod, props to the designer of all this for like putting this together. Cause this is insane. Final stage. You insist. Who am I to argue with the map creator? Final code says final stage. You know what? Maybe I'll just... I'll just stick with the magnum then. That's fine. Alright, what do we got? Kind of horrific... Whoa, what was that? Oh, it's a boss arena! And it forces you into the boss arena when you start out. That is crazy. Okay. Do I, do I just have to shoot it? I think I'm hurting it. it keeps getting closer. How do I stop it from getting closer? The doors in here don't have handles. What is, this is, okay, you know, this is the part where I'm gonna have to say it. Little anticlimactic, not gonna lie to you. Oh, look at that, he's got little minions. Little minions of darkness, that's so cute. I, I love that, we love a family reunion. Harry mother of Joseph, this is fucking awful. <laughs> oh, Jesus, he hits hard, what the fuck? This is uh, not gonna end well for me, is it? Ow, he hits so fucking hard. Why is he hitting me? How did he kill me? What happened? Why? How come he could kill me? I can't sprint, so I don't know what it wants me to do here. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna cheat the system a little bit here. Oh, I got him. Is, uh... Is that the end? I mean, I, I, I killed him. What happens now? Uh, can't go back that way. No holes in the floor opening up. Nothing happening. I I think I think I think I'm gonna call it there. I think I think it's safe to say that uh, well I won. Any, uh, maybe I wasn't supposed to. I don't know. <laughs> Not sure what happened at the end of that map there, but uh, as what happened, that was that was pretty good. I didn't hate that. That was actually a pretty fun, pretty fun time. Pretty scary experience too, actually. The the setting of that was really cool. I think the monster reveal at the end was a little sudden. I think. It wasn't really all that scary. Like the monster showed up and I was like, oh, okay, that's a freaky monster, but why is this happening? What's going on? I don't feel like this is a super urgent thing. It took me into that weird little pocket dimension thing and that was actually scary. But then it took me back out when it was like, oh yeah, fight this boss arena battle and it, nothing worked. So not a bad map, but not the strongest ending either. That was actually probably the best one we played so far. That's actually a lot of fun. I, I, I did enjoy that one very much. That was pretty good. I like that. So the next game we're going to play is Runaway 911. I I saw this one, and like most other ones, the image on the workshop actually cued me into it. 
It's also very highly rated, so I figured I'd give it a shot. This is my second time loading this one up, actually. I, I loaded into it to start this recording, and the effects package that messed up the lantern in the last map uh, made this map unplayable. So <laughs> I, uh, I, I made an executive decision to turn that off. <laughs> Me and Post just bl blast up the exposure so people know basically what I was dealing with when I had to look at these bar lights down here. You are a police officer. You worked the night shift and patrolled the roads. And one night, the unknown exceeded the speed and you started chasing him. <laughs> the intruder crashed and disappeared into an abandoned house nearby. <laughs> Play a night with headphones, the volume on maximum. Fuck that. <laughs> All right. Let's get started then, shall we? Oh. Oh, oh, cinematic. Okay, damn. Well, that was just about the best damn thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Holy shit. That was... That was that's fucking dope. Okay, so uh, there's a killer on the loose, and looks like he's hurt. Then we gotta go find him. That is, that was dope. I'm not over, I'm not over that cinematic. That was really fucking cool. The ambiotic music playing in the background is really cool. I'll give him that. This, this map is well designed, like very well designed. The front door's boarded up. He didn't get in that way. Where the, f where the fuck did this guy go? Also, how are you losing this much blood and still running from the cop? Just stop at that point. You need medical attention, my guy. All right. Well, I have no weapons. I'm a police officer without a service pistol. Yeah, the commissioner's gonna have my ass for that one. All right, let's see if there's any blood marks. Let's try to follow those again. Aha, I see it. I'm gonna take a quick look around. Scan all possible entries and exits. All right, son, come out. You've got exactly zero places to hide. Oh, library. You're injured. I need you to come out as soon as you can. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> well, that was... I don't know why that got me. It shouldn't have. This feels very Resident Evil 1 right now, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, that, that doesn't feel very... <laughs> that doesn't feel very Resident Evil. Ooh. Wait. Oh, this is a... Uh... I, uh, this is a fucking newspaper. A terrible crime. Last Sunday, March 13th, in a private home in the District of Columbia, there was a terrible murder of members of the Walker family. At half past five in the evening on the highway, a passing car stopped in front of the house. The driver found several bodies at the entrance of the yard. Unknown criminals cut their throats and hung them in the trees in plain sight. After receiving a call to the police department, the police... We got quickly rushed to the scene and began to blank. Investigate and search for the missing son. Oh, okay, so there was a murder. I guess there was a murder. I'm chasing that murderer. How I know it's that murder, I'm not aware, but I don't know if that matters right now. Why is so much of this house boarded up, but there's like still shit hanging out in here? How big is this fucking house? Good for you guys, but like also, holy fucking shit. <laughs> How do you maintain this? Oh. Well, my work here is done. I'm gonna go back to the cruiser. <laughs> Find out what happened here. So wait, is this, is this the guy I was chasing? Door closed from the other side. Okay, sorry, I was trying to get the thing to come up. Something tells me that phone is gonna ring. I've got a feeling that phone is gonna ring. I feel like I'm seeing a lot of assets here that aren't, you know, normally in Gary's mod. Okay, I guess. Hello? Hello? I just noticed the phone says 666 on it. <laughs> Okay, I guess that was nothing. Oh, Lord. 
my god, what the fuck? Who builds a bathroom with no mirror in front of this thing? What the fuck's wrong with you people? <laughs> Interesting. Oh shit, I forgot I have the camera equipped. I can't throw stuff. <laughs> Guess I'm gonna do it this way. This is probably a jump scare, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I fucking called it, my guy. I fucking called it. Well, that was not that bad, frankly, actually. <laughs> I honestly expected worse. Oh god, there's a, a bunch of blood up there. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. What? Why? Where am I? What kind of house is this? What kind of place is this? The generator lever is broken. I saw a spare on the second floor of, uh, in the pantry. I went to do work. Honey, don't forget to replace it. So uh, first I gotta find the pantry on the second floor. I imagine it's through this door. Yep. I just gotta get to the second floor now. I definitely haven't been this way yet. I wanna look around. Hello? Anything in your cabin? <gasps> Whoa, oof. Okay, yeah, that, that, that was scary. <laughs> Got me there. Is it weird that the second I thought, you know, to myself, like, you know, what if there's something in the, uh, something, you know, deadly in one of these, uh, what are these cabinets? What if it comes out and attacks me? And the second I thought that, it, it, it fucking happened. More rooms. What is this? Oh. Oh, it's a coin. Okay, I guess there's a collectible thing happening here. Interesting. Oh my god. Oh, wow, there's a little, uh, action icon. That's kind of cool. I like that. This, this is a well-made map. My god. Like, the guy who made this must have, surely must have spent hours just programming all of these event cues and things. That's actually super impressive. Health in the right side of the fireplace? Honestly, right now, I'm kind of looking for those coins more than anything else. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. I'm not scared, though. It's not like the last map where I was walking through the dark and I felt super scared. I feel less scared right now. I guess I can't move this, though. Oh, nothing here, then. So then what am I supposed to do about that gap in the floor? There's like, there's like no, like, planks or anything. Maybe they're outside. Unless I can use this stuff. And can I? <laughs> I doubt this is what it meant when it says, it said, I need things to cross this platform. <laughs> okay, they, they blocked it off with an invisible wall. I was, I was thinking this was actually a pit and that chair would just fall into it, but... I, I guess that was asking a lot. I guess I'll head back through the house. Maybe there's more stuff in here I can use. Oh, there's a coin on this table. Okay, so I guess I didn't come into this room before. Welcome. The fuck was that? Oh, it's the boot next to the... God, the fucking yadas, man. Can't trust these yadas out here. <laughs> these shoes are unreliable. <laughs> For me, I just go back to the police cruiser. Oh wait, yeah, there's a there was a thing here. You mentioned, yeah. Some mechanism worked on the second floor. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, so if I can get back to the second floor, or if I can get to the second floor in general, I suppose. I th I feel like it must be. Maybe it's is it this plank over here? It's this fucking plank over here. Oh my fucking god. Beat me over the head with a goddamn tire iron. I, 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 I'm I dumb. Also, now that I'm holding a key object, when is it gonna jump scare me? <laughs> oh. Hey, wait a minute. This is the same shit that happened in that other map. I wonder if... I wonder if this map and the other map are maybe the same person. <laughs> Get your ass back down there, old man. You know you're not allowed upstairs. Oh god, I'm fucking stuck on him. <laughs> okay. Um, but I guess we will see. Get this shit out of here. Oh, there's a, a sub basement? Oh, wait. Oh! That note said that there was a plus if I push on the thing. So something unlocked like a key up here on the second floor. So somewhere on here, there's a plus shaped key that I've got to find. Oh, look at that a coin. Four to four, unlocked. I believe that refers to a room towards the end of the map, I think. Aha! There's the key. Cool. I'm gonna put this on this table here while I finish looking around. Oh. What is... Oh, this is the lever for the thing. Okay, interesting. So, do I do the quest or do I go for the extra... I'm going for the extra shit. Fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> put that in there. See what happens. Quote unquote, fuck around and find out. 
It's just storage unit with like nothing in it. The fuck is this? Beaver won't budge. Maybe it needs power. Oh, okay. Oh, so I just went ahead of myself and did a thing for the next part of the of the game. Okay, that's fine. I kind of wish that old man in the chair would like follow me around. <laughs> like I'm coming every time I go up a set of stairs, he's at the top of. Okay, I swear to God, I heard it again. I heard more glass breaking. I know it. The fuck is going on? Can I like throw this off the? Th oh yeah, there's a speed thing here. This is probably exactly what this is for. <laughs> Well, that's one solution. <laughs> Jumpsuit man. Get your ass back here, boy. I don't take kindly to being insulted like that. I wasn't expecting the guy to come by on the plank. I'm not gonna lie, that, that caught me off guard. Also, this must be a beefy ass generator. They were not working. Maybe it needs gas. Oh, are you shitting me? Okay, I'm gonna check in the basement first. I think that there, I think there was a can in the basement. Yep, there's one can. Right? I'm thinking maybe this isn't it, but this is the only gas can I've seen, so I'm gonna give it a shot. That's right. Oh, that was right. Okay, cool. And then there was another one. Oh God, was it? Where was that? Was there another one anywhere near here? Probably upstairs. If anything, there was probably one upstairs. Maybe in that closet. That that's I don't like. I don't like this door. <laughs> what was that? I think I think this map creator put in like floor squeaks and glass breaking, like semi randomly. I don't know if I I don't know if I vibe with that. I think I think I think I'm fine, honestly. Oh yeah, there there it is. Okay. Is there gonna be something out here? Is there gonna be a jump scare? Trick shot. Oh, it, there's a <laughs> there's a super low ceiling. <laughs> there we go. That was easy. Hello. Ah, there we go. So there was the lever in the basement. That's about all I know that required power. Hello? Who just has this in their basement and no one questions it? Oh, it's storage unit. Your whole basement's a storage unit, asshole. Oh, this is jump scare material. Shit, I lost my flashlight. Oh, fuck that. Fuck that. I'm getting out of here. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. Oh my god. Maybe I can tear these boards off or something. Oh god, this is awful. Oh god, this is so bad. <laughs> oh my god, this guy's good at making horror maps. Oh, uh, in here, maybe? That was a battery. Okay, I, gotta, I gotta remember that this is there. Maybe it's over here then? Jump scare? Nope, okay. I think there's not enough battery. Oh, that's convenient. I just found where the battery was. <laughs> Oh my god, the fact that there is nothing but silence. So what is this for? What does that do? So this needs a key. But this is a, a battery powered thing. I, I'm confused. I'm, I'm a little confused. Is there something here? I think there's something here. But like, I can't see. Oh wait. Oh wait, this is, there's lights over here. Oh! Okay, I see. So there's temporary lights that I can get if I use the battery to power them up. So the ones for that thing must be in the other room. Oh, this is a cool mechanic. This is so cool. Hold on. Oh my god, that is so cool. I don't like this setup, though. Specifically that dark corner. I don't like that. Okay. This key must go to the room on the left. It's really hard to judge when all you have is a single point of light moving at the same speed as you. <laughs> Oh, thank God, this room has like light, light. Now, yeah, what is this? Oh, there's a vent. Okay, interesting. Okay. So there's a vent over there. I guess that's where I gotta go next. I, oh, it must lead into the other room and then I can open it from the back. Got it, okay. This problem solving is really fascinating because this is like a level of detail I never would have expected. Problem is I don't have a fucking light. There's like, oh, I see. Wait, no, this is, I gotta go the other way. Jump scare vents are a big deal. I think this guy might be above it, but I'm not holding him to it. Uh, all right, I need a pry bar. Who's got a pry bar for me? I need a pry bar. Oh, a flare. 
Holy shit, that's great. Awesome. <laughs> that's actually super cool. He's like, yeah, you, uh, I found a crowbar. Oh, I guess I could just hit E on the thing now. And the guy was like, yeah, you struggled with the light challenge enough. You can just have a thing now. That is something I can appreciate. Is this going to fizzle out? Holy shit, it fizzled out. That is actually super cool. What do we got going on here? Seeing a lot of corridors. Oh, son of a bitch. This guy's been dead for a very long time. I don't know why he's still dead. There's something over there. I don't like that. Oh, great. Well, one way forward, no way back. I've already started the journey. Might as well finish it, right? <laughs> Run where? Run where? Run where? Run where, my guy? Run where? <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 Where the fuck am I going? How does he know what's over here? Oh, God, there's a door, there's a door. Oh, shit. Uh, is this the end of it? This is the end of it, isn't it? Is this the end? Oh god, am I back in that PT level, but more well designed? Oh god, I'm back in the PT level, but more well designed. The attention to detail in this map is crazy. Am I... Wait, is this the... Oh... Oh! <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Oh, there's still one mug unbroken. Hold up. Don't worry, I got you. <laughs> I've seen this before. This is some cry of fear shit. This is where the jump scare hits. I know your shit. I remember that picture. Yep, there it is. <laughs> uh. Oh. What is going on? This is so cool. It's gonna close as soon as I get to the right. Oh. They didn't get me, actually. <laughs> Shockingly enough, the one that I thought was going to get me didn't. I'm staring at the ceiling. I can hear myself moving around, but I know that it's not actually me moving it. Okay. I need to get out of here. Dude, this is awesome. <laughs> How long is this map? My guy, you feeling all right? Here, here's a puke bucket. Just hang on to that. Hold on. No, hold it with the, the opening needs to be in front of you. Ricky, I'm never going to a party with you again. You're a fucking dick. So I've got like cans and stones to throw around in here. Can I break something? Ah, this hinge looks breakable. I'm gonna have like anything I can manipulate and I'm seeing just like cans and shit. Not like, like I feel like I must be able to. Oh, I just had to like hold it down. I see, okay. Nice. All right, well that was remarkably easy. This, what, what is this? The f is this the fucking level from Black Ops? Step one, secure the keys. Can I break the... I take that as a no. Oh, a fucking gun. Flashlight and a gun, but the clip is missing. Ah, f fucking dumbass. Oh God. Ah, you see, I knew there was a pathway here. Oh my God, it gave me a flashlight at least. Common fucking courtesy. Um. Oh, it's a key. Come on. There we go. Cool. All right. What do we got in here? Uh, 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 don't squeak. Try to be quiet. Stealthy. Oh, I can hide in that one. Wow, read that. Read the game's mind, I guess. Ah, uh, there he is. Look at this dude. I think he's gone. Need to get out. I, I firmly fucking agree. <laughs> Where the fuck are we? Is this all underneath the house? How do you maintain this, my guy? 
Yeah, I, gotta, I have like kind of a sprint. Oh, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Where am I gonna go? Chase music stinger. Oh, I guess I'll go through here. That wasn't anticipating. Uh, that door to just randomly be open. <laughs> go, 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 go. Close it, close it, close it, close it, close it. All right. Figure out what's up here. Have to run to the car. Where's the fucking car, my guy? I have no fucking clue where I am. I hear footsteps in the woods. I swear to God, I hear footsteps in the woods. <laughs> Get in the fucking car, my guy. <laughs> Get in that fucking car. Oh, 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 the gun, the gun, the gun, the gun. There's no clip in it, though. There's no clip in the gun. There's no clip in the gun. Oh, God. What are you going to do? wanted so much more god damn it that was amazing <laughs> that was really really good like that shouldn't have been made in gary's mod that should have been made in just the regular source engine and then made into a mod i think you'd have a lot more utility if you did it that way because there's so much potential there like i feel like the medium that had to be relied on was like fucking crazy restricting because this is this is so cool wow that's so dope i wonder if there's something after the credits oh hey oh wait what the fuck am i looking at this is the model for uh the killer why is ricardo here what <laughs> oh it's kind of dope it's like a chill out room i assume that's the dev <laughs> Next, playing the map. Don't turn off. I don't want to listen to random ass music. Is that? That was something I wasn't expecting. Uh, ooh, what is this? Level thirty bots. <laughs> What are these memes? This is ridiculous. What the fuck am I looking at? Oh, guess I'm gonna get high. Sub dude. I'm just gonna hang on this and chill for a moment. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit, my weed was laced with PCP. Fucking ridiculous. This map is great. Oh my god. Play this map. That was so good. Oh my god. So we are on to our last map, the Souls of Ignion. There's an intro, and I'm assuming that it's going to play directly into the map if I play the intro. So I'm going to play the intro, and then we'll see if I have to just cut some shit <laughs> and make it look good. What the fuck am I looking at here? So I, I have reason to believe this is a space-themed one. Can't go in there. No flashlight. What's up? I guess I'm going down then. <laughs> I have no idea what to expect. Nitro core. Hello, is anybody here? Whoa, holy shit, this is cool. Look at that skybox. What the fuck? Where the fuck am Is that fucking Marsara? What the hell's going on here? <laughs> is this a StarCraft map? Oh my god. That'd actually be kind of cool if it's like a StarCraft Zerg map. So this is the intro, remember, so I don't know. This automatic door is nice. But yeah, this is the intro, so I don't know where this is gonna take me. Locked. Alright, I guess I'll come back. What if I could hack this door from a computer? Why would I be able to hack why would I be able to hack the fucking pantry from a computer? It's also a very oddly spa shaped spaceship. Space station. Something over here doesn't my frame rate does not like. 
something. I can only open it with a plasma cutter. Okay. Well, I'm looking for a plasma cutter now. Plasma cutter and a computer, I guess. Computer room. Well, that was, Jesus Christ, my frame rate. Mining spacesuit. There's a wrench here. Our main server suffered an electrical overload suddenly. We need to replace the damaged modules to restore the computer as soon as possible. Oh, okay, so I need new modules for the computer. I guess I'm still looking around, then. No one's in their cryopods. Also, those are some very cushy-looking cryopods. Need some help in the cold storage. The door out closed itself, and now it's stuck. I can't open it from the inside. I'm trying to force the door open with a crowbar, but it's too heavy. Hurry up, please. Okay. Server room. Oh, holy shit. That's actually cool as shit. My god, my frame rate, though. What the hell? <laughs> I apologize if that makes things choppy for you guys as well. Ah, this must be the door he was talking about. Conference room. Oh, these are the... Computer mode. Wow. What are the people doing cool shit with, like, HUD, HUD stuff? Plasma kind of module uh, in the storage room. Cool. Okay, so the... The plasma cutter is in the storage rooms. I forgot something. I forgot something. What? What do you mean I forgot something? What is there to forget? I forgot something. What does that mean? Are there more modules I have to get? Uh, wow. Okay, compatible wrench. This is the compatible wrench. Okay, cool. To fucking pick up the shit. And fill in all the spaces where the modules are missing in the servers. This is a, this is actually cool as shit. I like the system a lot. Hey. A thousand Ooh. eyes look. A thousand eyes look. What, uh... Fuck does that mean? Right. Kitchen door unlocked. Alright, just like go to the kitchen then. Why or how I could hack the freezer in the fucking kitchen with a computer across the fucking ship is beyond me. I don't like that this is a, there's an invisible wall over these tables. Suggest... Oh, what the fuck? Hi there. Is that actually a zombie? Oh, it's straight up as a zombie, okay. Wasn't anticipating that, but all right. Uh, I guess I'll just leave that open now. Oh shit. Oh my God, that was so fucking cool. You fucking see that? He fucking... It was a whole ass scripted animation. That was so cool. <laughs> oh, well then, I now see that there is a bigger problem at hand. So I can break the vent over here in the conference room now. Jump scare vent, I'm calling it. Oh, maybe not. Okay. This is so disturbing. I started to hear weird voices in my head some months ago. At first I thought it was only me, but then I realized I was wrong. I talked with my mates and they told me the same thing. Told, the, told me the same as me. What? Later at the cafeteria, one of the crew members shouted, The planet the planet cursed us since Nitro Core Industry started its new mining project on Igneon 3. Two days later after that, he committed suicide in the bathroom. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of this space station as soon as possible. I don't blame you. I would too. Well, storage room. I can use the plasma cutter that is apparently in here somewhere to do it. There's just some, you know, this is probably exactly the reason why this is this map is running so poorly right now. Look at how high resolution these models are. <laughs> like this is really, really high resolution even for uh, like half, like for Half Life especially. It's just like wow, shit, dude. Ah, there it is. Small ass thing. Okay, do I have to go back to the vent? Okay, gotta go back to the vent. Apparently fight one of those damn things. Yay for me. There's a spiritual curse upon the station. Now there's a zombie running around somewhere that I don't know where it is. Oh, I gotta hold it? Oh, that's annoying. That's, oh, look at that model though. That's so cool. Oh, this is so super fucking heavily customized map. Oh. <laughs> I was about to say, I guess that's where the guy committed suicide, but I've just killed myself with a heart attack, so... Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so I've got the code for the front of the ship. I imagine it's the helm. I don't know what the fuck else it could be, but... I guess we'll find out. As far as I know, this is still the intro. One eight, it was 1873. Flip it? What the fuck? 
1873. So, 3781. Oh, nice. Okay. All right, then. No! <laughs> fuck that. Um, how about a hearty go fuck yourself? That sounds better to me. I must say, I'm loving the way this map is designed. And so far, this is great. And I think this is just the intro too, so bodes well. I will say that. Dude, look at this fucking skybox, man. This is so cool. This is like a completely customized map. This is so dope. Oh. It's uh, Resident Evil 4 when you're in the castle. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh, shit. Fucking A. Okay. That's probably not going to end well, is it? Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Please don't shatter the tube. I'm currently in it. How big the map? You can just see how big the map is. That's that's crazy. Pretty cool. I like that. It's like, yep, the whole map is textured and modeled and planned out because it has to be because you can see all of it. What the fuck is this? Broken? F oh, I don't like the fact that's broken. Is it going to go out randomly on me? <laughs> we are alone. What the fuck? Is he going to break out? Yeah, he's going to break out. Anyway. Alright, I see a health pack. I'm hearing a lot of noises, and I don't like that notion one bit. I'll have you know. Ooh. Don't go freaky on me now, man. Come on, seriously. Okay, I got it back. Okay, <laughs> Jesus. Why was this? Why is this compartment even here? <laughs> Who built a spaceship with hidden compartments? What is this? Ah. Oh my God! Wow. If I was in front of that, I'd be fucking dead. <laughs> There's health back on the other side. I'm not worried about it though. Why? Jesus. Can I at the very least just get this flashlight to stay on, please? It's all I'm asking. I like how the, like, the ship goes from, like, being, like, relatively together to being scrap. That's, uh, creepy. And alarming when you're in the vacuum of space. Oh god, that guy is very dead. I lock myself in here. All the crew members are turning into strange creatures. They're trying to kill me. But there's more. Apparently, there's a hidden creature that controls them. It barely speaks our language. I tried to fight that thing in the engine room. My surprise was that I couldn't see it. All I had was its voice in my head. I don't like that. I guess this is the engine room. Oh, and the ladder broke. Yeah. I guess I gotta turn all the switches. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I can't. I can't sprint. I can't sprint. I don't have a sprint. I don't know where it is either. Come on. Is that all of them? Where's the rest of them? Where's the rest? Where's the rest? Oh, bro, fucking shit. Oh my god. Fuck. Dude, fucking threw a jump scare at me too. What the fuck's going on here? You are free. Those asteroids have damaged the solar panels. I should go to the vacuum chamber. Okay. Whew. I should go to the vacuum chamber. I was on my way. That was a clever use of the jump scare image there you get hit it shows you an image like it's fucking with you because it hurt it hurt you so you like you're feeling it that's an interesting idea mm, fuck waiting oh jesus christ uh let me go up let me go up hello oh Okay, we're good. Okay. Whew. To the vacuum chamber I go then. Won't I need a suit though to do this? To go out into the vacuum of space? Alright. Well, can't go outside with a spacesuit. Then why did you tell me to go there? I knew that I needed a spacesuit, but I have to go back to the other side of the ship to get it now. <sighs> Bad design. I will say, as minorly annoying as this backtracking is, this is a super cool map. So I see why they wanted to do it. This is this is very intricate. And I, I respect them for putting in the effort. Did I miss something, or did it play that again because I looked at it? I think I might have missed something. Yeah, I definitely missed something. Alright. I don't think I inadvertently missed a jump scare because I looked back, <laughs> thinking there would be a jump scare. <laughs> I like this elevator system they got going on. 
It feels very Dead Space. You know? It's very interesting. All players needed it in vacuum to work. Oh, okay, so this is just like a thing. Confined space, hazardous material, air supplied, respirator required for entry. There we go. Oh, shit, it gives me a little helmet. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where am I going? How do I control this? Oh, Jesus. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> My God. My God. Okay. I have to fix the solar panels if I want to escape. So I guess I just need to go to them. Look at those random ant lions out here now. <laughs> Enemy variety is important when combat is a key part of your game. I have to like actually find a way to like jump onto these. This is a super precarious situation, my guy. And the zero gravity is not vibing with me. I don't like. I don't like this. Oh god, I'm not gonna make it. Oh god. Okay, thank fuck I made it. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, fucking a. I don't. I don't like this. This is super fucking finicky. Ah. Uh, let's walk along the frame. Walk along the frame. Actually, don't walk along the frame because you're gonna get. You're gonna fail. You're gonna fall. This has to be the most stressful thing ever. <laughs> I don't know if it's possible, but uh, if if the game Prey was uh, moddable, this would actually be a great thing to do in Prey, <laughs> the one from 2016 or 2017 or whatever, because uh, that that game has a whole outdoor spacesuit system of control that is really really well done, and I think I think this is just one of those situations like with the last map where I was like, uh. You know, the limitations of what you're, what you're making here, uh, or what, or what the the format you've chosen to make this in, uh, require, you know, they they're holding back the final product. I could probably make that if I hadn't hesitated, but uh, I'd, I'd rather hesitate and survive than <laughs> hesitate, or than go for it, die, and then be wrong, be wrong and die. At least this is a very easy jump. <laughs> really fucking hate walking along these damn things, man. This is, this is a lot. I wish it would, uh, you know, you know I, th I think it'd be kind of cool. I wish um, it would count how many you have left so you don't have to worry as much about uh, like if you're missing one, so you know if you have to go back or not. I think it'd be convenient. Okay. And land there. Look at how high resolution these fucking textures are, man. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Some of the custom assets that are in this map, I don't know where he got them from. I don't know if he made them or if they come from somewhere else. But they are some seriously damn good assets, wherever he got them from. I fixed all the solar panels. I should go inside the space station. Is there only one way in? I imagine there's only one way in. Uh, I don't think I'm going to make that. I don't think I can make that. I really don't think that I can make that. I, I guess that's the only way that I could make it. Oh uh, man, I really don't want to fucking die right here. Oh uh, yeah, that's more than enough hang time. I, okay, it just seemed very much not like not enough hang time. Oh my god, thank Christ! All right, is this an escape pod? Oh thank God, it's an escape pod! Jesus Christ, that was so stressful. <laughs> the scariest part about that was being out in space. <laughs> Oh my god, that was crazy. Whew. So this is the intro. You do not hide forever. I do not hide forever, I suppose. <laughs> oh. Oh, now it's loading the credits. Oh. Well then. Made by McRae and Pokey. Well, good job. You guys? Wow. Damn. Here's the space pod. Huh. Where's the space station? Can you see it anywhere? Oh, damn. This is one of the maps that has two parts, actually. And I'm, I was actually short enough that I think I'm actually tempted to play the second one. So I think what I'm going to do is get the second one. Hey there, folks. It's Dread from the editing room. It's almost one o'clock in the morning, so I'm going to make this brief and quiet so I don't wake up my roommates. Lost Souls of Inyan 2 was extremely long, extremely difficult, and extremely boring. Considering this video was already extremely long as it is, I'm going to leave it out and just leave you with a note that says, Lost Souls of Inyan Part 1 was extremely ambitious and interesting, but Lost Souls of Inyan 2 got wrapped up in the traditional kind of 
lost state of a lot of horror maps where it's just a lot of very difficult combat with very safe design. There were still innovations made, but they did not outweigh my overall displeasure with the anticlimactic nature of the development of the second part. That being said, let's return to our original programming. I'll see you in a sec. I wonder how many people are going to hate me whispering into the microphone. You want to hear some ASMR? So, as you can probably see by now, the memed up nature of Gmod horror maps may be accurate in a lot of cases, but there are still extremely talented mod creators out there giving us genuinely scary and technically stunning work that rests worlds above the rest of the competition. The ability of these creators to produce something so horrifying and detailed in a steadily antiquating engine being run through an application with its own set of limitations is mind-bogglingly impressive, and as time goes on, the creators that shine the most out of the haze that is the Gmod workshop are truly deserving of the attention they get. Should you have the time, means, desire, energy, any of that, by all means, please dive headfirst into the pool of options and see what you can pull out from those murky depths. You will be shocked what you can find. Frankly, it should also be said that there are a lot of truly genius inventions on the workshop that have nothing to do with the horror game genre. Unique creations like NPC combat arenas, massive roleplay maps for online play, massive packs of custom-made high-quality weapons, and the ever-fun game modes like Trouble in Terrace Town and Murder are abundant, and new ones spring up every so often, further extending the life cycle and replayability of Gmod. Even if you aren't looking for something wholly unique, the workshop has consistently managed to put out its own spin on the built-in content of Gmod, like the maps or NPCs from half Life. If you desire a creative rabbit hole to get lost in, this is one of the best that you definitely should not miss. And there you have it. As always, another hopefully successful video. I want to start off by thanking you guys so much for the support you guys have given me on these projects that I make way too super too infrequently, frankly. But it, it means the world to me that you guys are so um, receptive and you know, interested and supportive in the comments, especially on videos like uh, the zombie games video or uh, isometric RPGs. You guys are absolutely amazing and I wouldn't trade the world for you. Those of you who have spoken out, followed me, given me praise, even the people who've critiqued what I've done, all of you are super, super important to me and I can't thank you guys enough. Additionally, hopefully this particular video wasn't like too out there and too niche and too stupid <laughs> to be enjoyable. I, I thought it was a lot of fun and I figured, you know, you never know, maybe somebody out there will be like, eh, that's cool. I like that. And frankly, who gives a shit? It's my channel. I'll do what I want. <laughs> I'm going to throw up the usual picture of my videos folder here. You're going to notice that there is a whole bunch, that rather there are a whole bunch of uh, new folders in there with this thing called Time Capsule. I may or may not be launching a new series this summer. Who knows? I plan to anyway. Um, and I'll, you know, obviously you'll see more details about that later if you follow me on my Twitter. I know I'm not posting too much at the moment, but hey, I'm a busy person, leave me alone. <laughs> Once again, thank you guys so much for your support on all these videos. It means the world to me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, like and share it around, Twitter, Facebook, text it to your mom and dad, and then let them come into my comments and tell them that tell me that they hate me because honestly I'd get a good laugh out of that if someone's parents were actually like oh you're profane and annoying ah, I would get a huge laugh out of that and I will make a video smoking them so please I encourage you to do that <laughs> thanks again for watching the video guys and hopefully you have a dreadful day <laughs>